Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, you'll learn how to set up enhanced conversions for Google Ads using the updated method in Google Tag Manager. This method uses the Google Ads user provided data event tag, which replaces the older way of attaching personal data directly to the Google Ads conversion tag. I've tested the steps we're about to cover on WordPress, Wix, and Squarespace. And they'll work on other website platforms too. As we walk through the steps, I'll share some extra tips along the way. Okay, let's dive in. First, it's a good idea to identify the form or forms you want to track. It could be a contact form, lead generation form, or your store checkout where people enter their details. We're going to send user details, like the email addresses people submit, to Google Ads. This helps improve conversion accuracy and match people across devices. Once you've identified the form or forms you want to track, it's time to head to Google Tag Manager. And let's navigate to Variables. Let's click New to create a new variable. Let's name the variable user provided data automatic. Now let's choose variable configuration. Scroll down and select user provided data as the variable type. Now instead of manual configuration, I want you to go ahead and choose automatic collection. This will mean that the tag we configure in a moment will automatically detect email addresses, phone numbers, names, and addresses on your website. A tip here is to check if you have your company phone number, email address, and street address listed on your website. If you do have these, then they might be automatically detected by this tag. To fix this, you can exclude specific elements from being detected. To do this, you can enable the Exclude Selected Elements option, and then enter the CSS selector that contains the email address, phone number, or other address. For example, if your company phone number is included in a div with a class of phone-contact, then you would enter full stop phone-contact. The full stop matches the class. When you're ready, it's time to save the variable. The next step is to create a trigger that will fire our tag when people submit a form. To do this, let's navigate to Triggers. And let's click New to create a new trigger. Let's name the trigger Form Submission All. And let's select Trigger Configuration. Now let's choose Form Submission as the trigger type. I'm going to leave all forms selected, but you could select some forms to then define individual pages where you would like your tag to fire. My tip is that if you know the URLs of where your forms are located, it's a good idea to configure this. Okay, now let's save the trigger. Now it's time to create the tag that will send user provided data to Google Ads. To do this, let's navigate to Tags. And let's click New to create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Ads User Provided Data Event All Forms. Now let's select Tag Configuration and choose Google Ads. And select Google Ads User Provided Data Event. For the conversion ID, you should enter your Google Ads account ID. This will start with an AW, then a dash, followed by a series of numbers. Your conversion ID will just be the numbers, so everything after the AW dash. I've already configured Google Ads tags in my Google Tag Manager container, so I'm going to select my Google Ads conversion ID variable. 
To learn more about this, I recommend checking out my other tutorials and also joining my Google Tag Manager and Google Ads courses. You'll find links to these in the description below this video. Next, under User Provided Data, we need to select the variable we just created. And now we also need to add the trigger we created to our new tag. To do this, let's select Triggering. And let's select the Form Submission All trigger we created. Now let's save the tag. Now when someone submits your form, Google Ads will receive the user's details like email address before the conversion. Google stores this temporarily and automatically attaches it when the conversion tag fires later in the session. Apart from the Google Ads user provided data event tag, you'll also need to configure a Google Ads conversion tracking tag that fires when your form is successfully submitted. I've already done this, but if you're getting started and would like to walk through the steps to do this, please check out my dedicated Google Ads conversion tracking tutorial. You'll find a link to this in the description below this video. Basically, you'll need to head to Google Ads and get the conversion ID and conversion label and use this to configure the conversion tag in Google Tag Manager. Another tip is you should also ensure that your conversion in Google Ads has the Enhanced Conversions option enabled. This ensures that the user provided data will be used to improve the accuracy of your conversions. Before we wrap up, let's check that everything is working correctly. To do this, let's click Preview. Tag Assistant loads. We enter the URL of our website and click Connect. Now let's navigate to our form. Complete the form. And submit the form. Now let's open the Tag Assistant tab. We can see our user provided data tag has fired. And my Google Ads conversion tag has fired too. Let's select the Form Submit Data Layer event on the left. And let's select our user provided data tag. Since Values is selected on the top right corner, we can see that the tag has automatically captured the email address I entered in the form. So our tag is working. And let's select our Google Ads ID at the top of Tag Assistant. Now let's select one of the user provided data hits. The important thing to check is the EM parameter. This should have a value of TV.1. Followed by a tilde, then EM. This should then be followed by a string of characters. The string of characters is the encoded email address being sent to Google Ads. So if you see this, enhanced conversion should be working. Now let's close this. And let's select one of the conversion hits. Again, we should see the EM parameter, but this time with a value of TV.1. So it looks like everything is working. Google also has a super handy extension you can add to Google Chrome to check that everything is working. It's called EC Assist. If you'd like to learn more about the extension, I've included a link in the description below this video. And if you'd like to see me cover it in a future video, please let me know in the comments. Okay, once you've tested all of your forms and you're happy that everything is working correctly, you can head back to Google Tag Manager and publish your changes. Are you going to implement Google Ads enhanced conversions using the new method? Let me know in the comments. And if you run into any issues, please let me know. 
If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more tips and tutorials on Google Ads, Google Tag Manager, and Google Analytics. And for more in depth lessons, please check out my courses. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.